Hey guys, so I've been in a coma all day, long story. This whole vacation has been like one thing after another, but like don't get me wrong, I'm having the time of my life. I am so happy to be here and I'm so happy to be seeing my family. It's just like unfortunate circumstances are happening. So first I lost my phone trying to rescue a dog off the side of the road. Uh, my phone has been disconnected and I can't do find my iPhone because uh, I put it on airplane mode like ever since I got into a plane. So anything that happened after that, my phone's just been on airplane mode. So it doesn't know the location and now it's been disconnected. And I don't know how someone's gonna use it because like the phones are different here in Czech Republic. So even if you try to put like a SIM card in it, like I just, I don't understand like what they're expecting. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I think we should be good. Um, and then today I woke up and I had a sore throat, but I checked my lymph nodes and I'm not getting sick, which is also weird because every time I travel, I swear I get sick. Like I get into an airplane and I like automatically catch rabies because it's such a confined space. So many people, like you're breathing someone's farts in for like however long you're on that flight and I just always end up getting sick. Well, no, I just think I have allergies because of just like the crazy change in weather for me. <laughs> this looks so freaking weird. Um, so I woke up this morning with a sore throat and some post nasal drips. I'm like, oh God, why? Why now? Like, why not in two weeks? Like later? How about like never? Um, so I went to the pharmacy and I was like, do you guys have Zyrtec D? Like a stupid freaking idiot. And of course you're like, what's that? <laughs> and I was like, okay, hold on. <laughs> like, let me get something similar. So I did, I got something else that the lady recommended to me and I took it and I don't know what the hell this lady recommended to me, but I felt like not that I've ever done heroin cause like I haven't, but like, I'm just imagining that that's what I felt like. Cause I couldn't even talk. I can't even talk right now. I'm like, Ugh, I feel so dead right now. And just like so slow. I don't know how if I'm talking weird or if I'm like mumbling. My mom uh, came into my room and I was like sleeping and she's like, she's like, are you taking Frank for a walk? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take him to the blah, blah. And she was like, what are you talking about? She's like, you can't take Frank for a walk. Like, you're, you're unconscious. And I'm like, no. And I was like, I got into such a big argument with my mom. Because, like, I guess I was telling her that I was going to take Frankie for a walk to the playground. When I actually meant soccer stadium. <laughs> oh, my God. I am so weird. Anyways, uh, I just checked my Facebook group for my Prague meetup. And it has, like, 20 people interested in going. And like seven people going and honestly like that's a lot like in my opinion for the fact that like I don't even make videos in Czech and I already have so many people from Prague going to meet me and like I'm I'm so nervous this is my first me I probably shouldn't say I'm nervous because I'm gonna make like everybody else that's going nervous like this bitch is nervous and I'm not I'm supposed to not be nervous I'm just nervous because it's my first meetup and I just hope that I don't disappoint you guys or like I hope I don't, I, I don't know I'm weird you know I'm just I'm a weirdo so I hope I don't like disappoint you guys and I hope that we have I know we'll have fun like we'll have fun because I feel like anybody who like likes my YouTube channel and likes me on YouTube will probably like me in person I believe I'm the same in person people have told me that my personality is the same. I'm maybe like a little less crazy in person just because you know my YouTube channel makes me out to be like really psychotic sometimes. I, I have been periodically throughout my life but like not all at the same time. Oh, okay. You guys are probably like, what are you doing, Stephanie? I'm putting my extensions in. At least the guys watching this are gonna be like, um, I'm scared. <laughs> this girl is clipping hair into her head. And yes, I am. And like, it makes such a difference. And the color match is like literally perfect. I got these at Sally's. They're the 14 inch ones. They were like $100 on sale. Cause I had like a coupon or something. Or I think you just get the um, like 20% off if you use your Sally's card or something like that. And they're really good quality. Um, I got a lot of different kinds of hair extensions and these are the best ones. People have suggested to me that I try to order some online because like I've heard a lot about the Bellamy extensions and how good they are, but something about ordering extensions online just kind of scares me. 
because I feel like I will not get the color right. There's this really awesome company that I've worked with in the past. They're really fantastic. They have really great hair products and like hair styling products, but they sent me like extensions ones and they were like just not the right shade for my hair, which was a shame because the quality was like really great. Um, I still wear it though, but it's just like, it's a little obvious that the color doesn't match. Okay, I'm gonna uh, do my hair. Tonight is Friday and I guess I'm going out for like some dude's birthday who's a friend of my cousin's who's also kind of, uh, who I'm also kind of like acquaintances, friends with. Uh, and I'll probably, most likely, be getting wasted. Oh my gosh, my lips are so red. Makeup and hair of the night. I just wanted to talk with you guys about something real quick. Um, hold on a second. Perliva vodas přichutí pomeranče. And it's fucking delicious, I love it so much. So anyways, I've been having like crazy jet lag. I've been having sleeping problems. The way I've been dealing with those sleeping problems is by watching YouTube videos until like three o'clock in the morning. And I've been watching a lot of like drama alert videos because let's be honest, they're pretty entertaining. And I've been, ahoy! Promiňte, tady natáčím. Já dělám vlog. But I've been watching a lot of drama alert videos and I like stumbled upon this like women on YouTube video with a whole bunch of like really big YouTubers talking about how it is to be a woman on YouTube and I thought the video was really insightful and interesting and spurred a lot of controversy but like not just be not because of like what was being said because of like one particular thing one person said and so I could see like why that stirred up a lot of drama anytime and I feel like whoever edited that video like did that on purpose like they knew what they were doing like they knew that like you could clearly tell who the person was talking about about and they like made an effort to bleep it out but like everybody's like okay like it's pretty damn obvious do I know if what that person said is true or not I don't know I'll link the video down below if you guys want to go check it out you like be the judge I don't really care it has nothing to do with me but the whole entire women on YouTube thing does have to do with me and that's what I'm gonna be talking about so as a woman on YouTube do I feel like I have a harder time than a man on YouTube well, yes, definitely, and I think the number one example of that will be I did a video about how I cheated on an abusive boyfriend when I was like 18, 19 years old, and uh, while what I did was very terrible, and of course, like, I, I cheated on this boyfriend, and I'll link that video also if you guys want to check it out. Everyone was calling me a slut and a whore and disgusting and just all these awful names. Funny thing is, like, four months later, I made a video with my best friend who is a guy, and we did a similar type of video where he, you know, expressed how he cheated on his significant other. And it's kind of funny, he didn't really go into details about his story, but his cheating story is like 10 times worse than my cheating story. Except, you know, if you go into the comment section of that video, everyone is applauding him for his honesty and like coming to terms with what he's done and accepting his mistakes. So that just shows you how sexist our society is. Uh, it's kind of disturbing, but it's really sickening to see the amount of sexism on YouTube. Uh, but you know at the same time like I've just I've been trying to let it slide and not let it bother me and And to use those people that are being sexist and rude and terrible in the comments I'm trying to make an example out of those people just uh, you know continuing to make videos Because I hope that that shows other women that they don't have to listen to those people and that they can keep on making content or doing whatever it is that they want to be doing uh, you know, just ignore those people. So the most amazing thing just happened. We just ordered pizza. Oh my God, look at this pizza. Oh, it looks so good. Just the box is so cute. Like the box is like thin and it just look, it has this cool drawing on it. I'm already loving it. And let's just open this thing up and get a good look at pizza. Oh my God, it looks so good. I can't wait to put it in my mouth. Hey guys, so I'm out to drink, to drink. <laughs> I'm out to drink right now, I'm getting wasted by myself. Uh, no, I'm here with people. Můžu vás ukázat? Rychle. Rychle. 
Nita and Asim Sama. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're just hanging out. It's Friday. My little brother's here. <laughs> So I'm still here, and they keep ordering more shots, but I can't keep up because I'm American. No! I can't do that! No. 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 The aftermath. Dun dun dun. I look like shit. Feel like shit. And I'm still kind of drunk from last night. Like I woke up this morning and my head was spinning and I'm just like, why am I still drunk? Why am I walking around? I'm hazing. Okay, I'm gonna make this real quick because I have to use the bathroom. And obviously, like I'm not gonna vlog in the bathroom. Last night was so fun. Oh my gosh. I was a crazy drunk person. I danced, and let me just say. Okay, we went to this place called Irish Pub in Friedek Misek, and I didn't think I was gonna like it. I was like, Friedek Misek, I was like, what kind of like bar is this gonna be? Uh, it was actually really cool, like 10 times better than any club or bar I've been to in the United States. No joke. The vibes were good, everyone was really friendly. It was such a fun night. I was crazy though. I was a crazy drunk. Like I was so drunk that I, like at one point I didn't even know what I, like what words were coming out of my mouth. This is my official apology to whoever I may have offended last night. So I'm, I'm just I'm gonna wrap this up now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog though. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be vlogging a ton more. Also, update on my Prague meetup it is now definitely happening. It's happening on the 25th, which is Monday in Prague at the John Lennon Wall. 4 p.m. Did I already say 4 p.m.? But you could get there like a little bit later. We're gonna be there for a while. So if you're like a little late, no big deal. I'll also be posting like Snapchat updates of where we are. And so far I have like eight people coming. So like that's pretty awesome. Like thank you Czech Republic for showing me the love. I love you guys. And I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm weird. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later. Click the thumbs up button if you like my Czech vlogs and if you want more vlogs from me. And also make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you get a notification every time I upload a new video because that's awesome, isn't it? It's pretty great. Okay, I love you. Bye.